Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. We're coming to you live from Money 2020 in Las Vegas, Nevada. Joining me for this segment, we have Aruna Galton. She is GTM and Products Leader of Financial Services at Quantify to discuss demystifying generative AI for the financial services space. It is great to have you with us, Aruna. Welcome to Trade Talks. Thanks, Jill. And the financial services industry, as you know, is going through a tectonic shift with um, the advent of generative AI. How do you think the adoption of Gen AI will reshape the industry and how it operates and how it engages with customers? Sure. Interesting question, and we have had, we have been having a lot of talk with our customers right here at Money 2020 around this topic. Um, traditionally, Jill, these financial models that were built, they were built on silo data that were residing in legacy systems and were extracting using extracted using manual processes. What that did was these models weren't robust enough. They were not covering all the different scenarios that could happen in the future. What generative AI, the gamut that it has opened up for us is now you can generate a lot of synthetic data that can tap into scenarios and situations that someone might not have seen. Those scenarios are generated. So now you have the power of using very robust data to do stress testing on your financial models. You can go in and create uh, simulations that to see the inference of the models. And most important, you can train on a huge variety of data that now makes these models more holistic, more robust. So these are some examples of how generative AI can help the financial services industry. One very prominent example to quote out here would be, imagine talking to your bank and on the other side is an intelligent chatbot that is smart enough to understand your sentiment, the one who is talking to the bot, is able to empathize with your situation. It has all the details of your transaction history with the customer, with a certain company, and it is able to recommend financial decisions to you on the fly so that you can make the right decisions. This is just one small example, but a huge impact, and this is how generative AI is going to reshape the way we engage with our customers and clients and bring in that power of data generation to its right form. And Quantify, you're an applied AI company, and of course you have an AI first approach. Yes. Um, what are some key use cases that banks and financial services companies are focused on sure. outside of the chatbot to bring sure. AI to the organization? Sure, um, so primarily you can think of these use cases to be around productivity gains. You are talking about huge cost optimizations. You'll be able to do 40, 50% more job in the same time with these AI assistants. A big play in the hyper-personalization space and a huge play in the risk management space. And to give you some examples, right? Um, traditionally, all our underwriters or risk analysts, they had to go through a lot of traditional knowledge sitting out there in documents, on research papers, online, etc. Now generative AI assistance can help your underwriters and risk analysts to understand situations on the fly, interpret risks that can be pertaining to a certain customer transaction or a certain paper trail that's coming in. The other big example is you know, intelligent document processing. We have a product called Docupy in the space that is backed by generative AI. You can give assistance to your underwriters that can write emails on the fly. By picking up data and facts, it will be able to write emails, transcribe information. Gone are the days when you had to read FAQ documents and product brochures to understand what is the right product for you. Now generative AI can do all of this for you in a, within a matter of seconds. And the best part is it's real time, right? So you are not waiting for a result to come out. It will significantly reduce the time it takes to get to these conclusions or information and all of this in a suggestive format. So as a company, our focus is to make sure that the right kind of productivity gains come to our customers. We, are, we can help them with super hyper-personalization and last but not the least, a very uh, meticulous way of bringing in natural language querying on your data. I should be able to type in English and query my historical information so that right kind of risk management or adjustments can be done on mm -hmm. the fly. There's also been an undercurrent of apprehension around right. generative AI, of course. Uh, you know, how is Quantify addressing these challenges to make sure that generative AI is harnessed responsibly, is harnessed um, ethically? Yeah, um, so I think the first aspect to understand here is 
what are the limitations with generative AI as of today that, that you know, companies are perceiving as a limitation, right? One of the key ones being, uh, you know, the integrity of the outcome that the AI is uh, uh, recommending. These are probabilistic outcomes. The AI is looking at probabilities of tokens, words, scenarios, and it's suggesting to you what needs to be done, right? So there is a lot of uh, cultural, cultural blocker in terms of adopting these kinds of models, that's one. The second big um, blocker out there is, if your AI is not trained right, these bots can hallucinate at times, give you biased inferences or outcomes. How do you do the right kind of training of these models so your outputs are not biased or you know these bots are not giving you biased results? And last but not the least, there are a lot of open source models out there and some big large language models that are trained on public data. So there is a huge concern around cybersecurity. Is my data secure? Most of the times we get into meetings with customers talking about how is your data secure in this aspect, right? So I think those are primary aspects where customers have a blocker in terms of adopting generative AI. But now we are in a generation where it's no longer a concept, it's a reality. Right. So we as a company have been in the business of artificial intelligence for last 10 years. We have done multiple artificial intelligence enablements for our customers and with our responsible AI practice, we are able to deliver AI models that are reliable, that are transparent, can transparently tell you why is it inter interpreting something in a complex scenario, exactly what data points did it use to recommend a certain decision, and aspects like that. So how is Quantify working with its customers to bring faster or more effective generative AI to their platforms? Sure, um, I would like to once again highlight AI has always been there. It's mm -hmm. been a decade we have been working in this space. It's been out there since before that. With everything that has happened with large language models in the past year, it's now become a buzzword. So now how do companies go around adopting this? We have a very proven approach of adopting AI in customer ecosystem, and that goes in the format hack it, prove it, nail it, scale it. Mm -hmm. As part of Hackett, we engage with our customers in a 48-hour workshop where we together brainstorm on ideas where generative AI can make a difference in their ecosystem, what use cases they can think about, bring in our knowledge of what is generative AI, how can it help you, etc., and build that joint collaborative plan around how can they incorporate generative AI. Next is uh, Prove It, which is where we do a lot of smaller builds of these AI bots to actually show the customers how will this inferencing happen. To show it to the business, hey, this is how you are going to engage with the bot when a bot assistant is going to come in your ecosystem that is now assisting your operations team members or your underwriters or your analysts. Um, then um, nail it, what we do is we build a minimum viable product. Now that you have proven out that this uh, tech works in your ecosystem, build a minimum viable product that can be put in the hands of say four or five users, procure feedback from them, would they want the experience to change? Would they want the AI to behave in a certain way? Bring in all that feedback and last but not the least is scale it, where we pick this up, productionalize at a massive scale, complemented by organization change management where we handhold the users on the customer side in terms of how should they use this AI that is put at their disposal that is going to assist them in their productivity gains. So this um, format has helped us productionalized many AI models in the past. We are seeing the same working with generative AI. At the end of the day, the idea is, it's not about bringing in the latest, greatest technology, but it's about solving what matters, and that's the core theme of the company. Yeah, that's a great distinction to make, and we'll appreciate the insight. Thanks for joining us on Trade Talks. Thanks for joining me for Money 2020. I'm Jill Melandrino, Global Market Chief Quarter at NASDAQ.